Grüß Gott! Is how we say welcome in Bavaria. I'm Bernhard Seber, I'm professor for audio information processing at the Technical University of Munich. And I'm going to introduce you to the area of psychoacoustics today. Psychoacoustics links our world of acoustics with how we perceive sounds. Psychoacoustics is a word of psychology and acoustics. What we try to do is to describe how we perceive sounds with functions, with models. We try to understand this and try to find a model way into our perception. So what we do is we link the sound, the acoustical world of sound, which is physics, with how we perceive the sound, with this psychophysics, perceptual world. You all know already in this course about the sound pressure and the sound pressure level. Now, you can imagine that the sound pressure level is closely linked with the loudness of sounds, meaning how loud sounds are. The frequency of a tone of musical instruments is linked to pitch height, so how high in pitch sounds are perceived. And the fluctuation of sounds getting louder and softer on a short time scale is linked to how we perceive fluctuations, we call this fluctuation strength or the perception of roughness. This is what we're going to talk about in this lecture. I'll introduce you first to the threshold of hearing and the range of the sounds we can hear. Then we go on to auditory masking, the ability of the sound to hear, of the brain to hear one sound in the presence of others and how other sounds can mask the one sound so that we cannot hear it, which is what we call masking. Strongly connected to masking is the brain's functioning, on the peripheries functioning, of uh, treating sounds in frequency bands, the so-called critical bands and frequency selectivity of the auditory system. This underlies all our communication systems as we process sounds in frequency bands and we're going to learn how the brain, the auditory system, is doing that. Again, strongly linked to that is the loudness of sounds. The loudness is described from loudness in those critical bands and we're going to learn about some phenomena of loudness and how we can briefly model that. A brief introduction I'll give you into pitch, pitch strength and timbre, so how the pitch of sound is being formed and a few interesting aspects about this before I come to aspects like sharpness, fluctuation, strength and roughness, which are aspects that are very important for sound quality of technical products. Last but not least, I'm also going to talk to you uh, about binaural unmasking, so how information from both ears can help us to understand speech in noisy spaces. And I'm also, and throughout this course, introduce you to psychoacoustic methods, how we can gain data from human listeners, how we can run experiments with human listeners to gain really reliable data that we can then build into our models. So let's first start with our introduction to the hearing threshold and the hearing range. 